The new and improved integration between Ableton Live and the Novation SL Mark II allows LED feedback on both the encoders and buttons. This means selecting and launching scenes and clips is easier than ever before. Once you've completed the door setup guide for the SL Mark II on Live, you should enter MIDI Learn mode by selecting the MIDI button on the top right hand corner of Ableton Live. You'll see that the screen goes blue as shown in the video. You'll then need to assign the second row of buttons, the assignable buttons, to launch clips in the first eight tracks in your live set. I'm currently doing this in the video. Firstly you should press the play button under the column of clips. Then press the corresponding button on the SL Mark II. This will allow it to trigger clips on that track. Once this is done, you should exit MIDI Learn mode. The row select buttons on the left can be used to scroll between scenes. This button scrolls up through scenes and this button scrolls down. The currently selected scene in live is shown by the light grey band. The third button down launches the scene. You can see by the LED feedback which clips are currently playing. You can then scroll to another scene and launch that. If you want to launch a single clip, simply scroll up to the scene with the clip in it and press the corresponding clip launch button. You'll see that it lights to show that it's playing. The bottom row select button stops all clips. Since there are no row select buttons on the Zero SL Mark II, you'll need to use the drum pads to navigate between and launch clips. To do this, you simply need to assign them using Live's MIDI Learn. Enter the MIDI Learn mode, and firstly click on the up arrow button as shown in the video. This corresponds to scene up. Then press the drum pad that you wish to use to scroll up between scenes. Then do the same for the down arrow for scrolling down through scenes. You'll see that there's a play button. This launches the scene. And to assign a stop button, click on the stop or clips button and press the corresponding drum pad. As on the SL Mark II, you can now scroll between scenes using the drum pads. and you can also launch them. So there we have it. Enjoy using your SR Mark II to control Ableton Live.